Ashwat, firstly, a warm welcome to you on Filmi Shilmi and congratulations on Chori. Thank you, Anuj. Thank you so much for having me. So, Nushrat, I mean, you've had several titles on the digital space. First, Chalang, which is when we actually caught up with last. Uh, then you had Ajib Dastans and now Chori. So what has these numerous releases on the digital space meant to you as an actor, especially when it comes to the reach and exposure that you're getting? Uh, it's been great, actually. Uh, the number of people who watched it, um, not at that very instant, but like over, over a period of time as well, has been immense. Like I, I still hear of people messaging me thinking, you know what, we just caught it. And I'm like, great, at least you just caught it, you know. So I think mm. that that kind of reach is great. Um, that kind of access to watching that film instantly is, is pretty great. Um, and yeah, from Chalang to Ajib to this, I never thought I'd, I'd have a film released on an OTT platform, not back mm. then. Um, even when we shot Ajeeb, we shot it in, in, in 2019, which is pre-COVID, uh, with zero expectation of what this is going to do on in an anthology space on a digital platform. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the response, the audiences, the people, um, it really took me by surprise because I was getting great, correct, apt feedback, which sure. I felt for the first time that um, audiences who are viewing these films on OTT platforms have the sensibilities to see the film for what it is mm. and to give the correct feedback on it. Uh, sure. Somehow I felt like it reached the right audiences. I don't know. But that was a major take, take, uh, take back for me from it. Great. Well, it's wonderful to hear that. Now, I've seen La Pachapi, which is the original Marathi film that Chori is based on when it premiered here in the UK, actually. Um, and it's very interesting because usually in the roles that we've seen you, especially when you are the main lead, um, you know, you've played characters who are shrewd and cunning. Those are sort of like att attitudes that we see in terms of the characters that you've essayed. But I think, you know, the original La Pachapi character, you know, is quite vulnerable. We see her as a pregnant woman who's trying to protect herself, her baby, and you know, amidst this whole supernatural forces are at play here. So I guess, will your role be as vulnerable as the Marathi version as well? So I've not seen the Marathi film. Um, I wouldn't know what was done in it. Um, I only took from what my director told me he wanted to achieve with this one. Because since it was a remake and he directed the previous one and he's doing this, he had a different vision to take this film to as well whichever different route that he saw uh, deemed fit for it. And he kind of guided me in that space and area. And I just, I think my, my only job as an actor was to kind of make that vision of his come true and alive and hit the mark of, of whichever performance level it is. And of course, it was a big advantage that he knew the film at the back of his hand. So he knew that in this point of time, Sakshi would only be this or this or this. So he took me through the, the graph and the intensity of it very well. Like mm -hmm. I could, I, I think I had, I did my prep, I came on set and then I just shut my eyes and let him do what he was doing. Um, mm. That kind of trust and that kind of surrender is, is very important between an actor and a director, but it, it happens very rarely. And when it does, it, we both feel like we've created magic. I don't know if the world can, but as of now, me and Vishal sir, we, I think after the fifth or sixth day of shoot, we were completing each other's sentences, which is oh, wow. I've never had that with any director. It's very odd. Like he'd be sitting behind a monitor and look, and I'd be like, that's what you were, you were about to say, right? He's like, oh, yeah, I said, got it. <laughs> Looks like a supernatural force was in play then as well. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Right. I'm glad you mentioned this actually, because, you know, I'm always curious to know, um, I mean, from your experience in, in Chori, as well as previously in Dar at the Mall, um, are horror films necessarily as scary as it appears uh, in the fi final product, especially when you are creating it and when you're going through that whole uh, process of making the film? Is it, as is it as scary then as well? And what makes a compelling piece of horror, do you think? Um, I think you have to take a lot from your surroundings, um, your location, your environment. Uh, those are bigger characters in your film and you've got to take cognizance of that. Like the field plays a very big character visually and as an actor and on a subliminal sort of emotional level for you to feel that. Um, so you've got to keep taking things from wherever you get it. Uh, if you don't get it, then you're going to be stuck. 
like when she walks into that house i didn't know what the house is going to be like so when i first walk into that house i have to react to it by taking in everything that house is giving me there is a part of that wall which is dark why is it dark that thought has to go into my head there is a part of that room which does not seem like i want to go there why am i feeling like i don't want to walk there so all of these things you as an actor got to keep taking the more you take the more you'll be able to give back in a shot and a frame and i feel mm. that's that's where the organic reactions of fear lie it's it's in in your natural reactions that come when you first experience it um so tough film to shoot uh, but i think i had the right team and i had the right people and the right setup so they gave me the best sort of tools to use and bring out um in the film mm-hmm. um i think i would say the knowledge of knowing what you're doing with it the skill set mm-hmm. of a horror film i think is completely different but that's that's more a writer and a director's space than an actor's uh we do it how you're going to capture it um how you're going to bring in that stimulus that actually scared us um not from just from the point of view of whether it's scaring the actor or not but how is it scaring the audience as well because you can't forget that the audience are a third party viewing it they're not actively in the film viewing it they're not it's not an interactive film right um sure. so you've got to i think your setup of your your scares your jump scares your what happens when you turn left or right you got to think from the audience point of view more than what the actors and on set is happening so maybe that's what makes uh, makes a horror more compelling when when you bring sure. in that audience point of view good good answer and i also think that somehow nushat you know i feel like hindi cinema um generally we still haven't managed to capture the um the the right essence of horror you know i feel like a lot of the horrors are sort of topped up with very beautiful songs and you know romantic love scenes and all of that those are those are the sort of coating to it rather than the actual horror themselves because if we see it's usually the clichés or the usual scream queens that sort of headline it so why do you think that you know we as an industry haven't quite uh tackled horror as a genre well enough in our cinema and do you think chori in that sense could be a bit of a game changer because lappa chapi itself was quite a huge game changer for me i mean according to me anyway uh in terms of the horror field you know i have one more thought which i've been saying um because it's what i felt apart from the songs and the romantic setups what we've always done is we've always justified the evil we've said <laughs> oh they've had a bad past they were tortured or this was happening or that was happening so now as ghosts they are torturing and tormenting or whatever i feel you don't necessarily need to give a justification to it evil is evil that's it horror is horror uh, there is no justification to it if there was then we'd understand it once you understand it you've humanized it so you will empathize with it you will not fear it mm. but if you don't justify it and you keep it evil as evil without any reason people will fear it more because they won't be able to understand ye bhai ye kyun hai aisa why mm. is this this way if you don't give a reason there'll be more fear because the fear is of the unknown or the fear is of not understanding it the minute you give yeah. it understanding i think you lose the um, you lose the horror right there uh, but yeah. they actually do this and and i've i've kind of cracked that as well do you know why they do this they do this because they want to end the film on a solution Sure. They want sure. the audiences to know that if this happens to you, you will get through it. You will survive it. So you understand the horror, you understand the evil, you empathize with it. So your fear gets over because in two hours you need the fear to get over. Um, mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I've been able to crack. That's I think a basic set format of a horror film. And and people, of course, there are disruptors that break that and and move away from it and give it different twists and angles. But that again, completely. is mm-hmm. is a director writer's vision as to where they want to go and where they want to take the film um mm-hmm. so i don't mind the romance and the song that much because we are in bollywood and that's intrinsically bollywood um i mean hollywood films have sing songs and dances now right they have yeah, yeah. like there so that's what makes us us but as long as you can still do a great film that has that great impact even that for me is acceptable No, absolutely, very well said there. And I think because we I mean we mentioned about the whole game-changing aspect of Chori, I think in terms of Hindi horror, um, 
but how what what do you hope that this film will achieve for you um as an actor because like i said i mean you've done some great work recently even since the bhagat punch nama days love sex or dhoka days to be very honest um but what do you hope that jodi will do for you as an actor what do you hope that you'll get from this opportunity as well i have not thought of that anuj i have not had that thought in my head uh even when i signed the film or when i shot the film or when now the film is on release which is a whole year now um that question has not crossed my mind and i'll tell you why it hasn't i've never had a a sort of set pattern or or a plan or a strategy uh in what i do i do it because i love it it's simple uh, i enjoy it i come on set every day i love being different characters i love taking on emotions i love delivering them i think my joy is when a director says perfect we got the shot i relax i'm like yeah we got the shot i get happy with it <laughs> um right. so i can't think of the effect uh before i've actually done it how can i i mean tomorrow if i pick a film and i'm like oh this is what it's going to do to my career i'll i don't know i'll just i don't know how to fun- people function like that i don't know how to function like that i can't predict a cause um or an effect i mean i can't predict an effect and i can't do a film or a project for the effect i do it right. for the process of it and for me and for me. Well, absolutely like- no and that's how you should do but i think on a final note before i let you go um nushrat you know i think like chori you've got some amazing amazing movies lined up as well like jhula and ram setu as well yeah. um so again how will these films like chori sort of showcase a different caliber a different side to you as an actor and to maybe something that's distinctive to what we've seen before from you i've tried to do every character of mine differently from every film um i did that way back in pyar ka panchama 1 to pyar ka panchama 2 the film is the same the setup is the same the effect is the same i just changed the character completely um and i wanted to do that um uh, just because i like pushing that a little bit more it's fun to do new things and different things and to come out differently um i so in chori i think the challenge the biggest challenge was to be an 8 month old pregnant woman which I've never been before, and I don't know what that is like. Uh, so to take on that emotion, that sort of um, you know physicality, and to do it convincingly again um, mm. was an absolute treat for me. I just had fun with it every day. Uh, but which is why, for me, Anuj, a director plays a large part because if he doesn't put me in the right direction, if he doesn't give me things um, from which I can better myself as an actor with every film, I kind of won't enjoy it. So yeah. <laughs> and especially in reference to the films that I mentioned as well so I guess these films will also show a very unique side to you right I'm still I'm just experimenting I'm just exploring myself I don't know whether it will show the same side or a different side I really don't know see I feel eventually I'm the same person right there is nothing mm-hmm. wrong in being the same person because we are all human beings and the stories are eventually going to be the same you will laugh you will cry you will be sad you'll almost be in the same space um i think just the challenge is to do it convincingly every single time you do it so apart mm-hmm. from thinking of it from the point of view what is the different character i'm playing i also kind of go on a larger scale of whatever i did did it come across and convince the audience even if it is similar did mm-hmm. are they convinced are they entertained are or the crying or are they getting scared have i got that emotion effect across then i'm i'm okay fabulous fabulous well i think wishing you all the very best nushrat it's always so fun to chat with you even last time as well during chalang time we had such a great discussion as well then too and uh, i can't wait for um you know you to take us into that cornfields and that uh, secluded house in chori so looking forward to seeing that thank you thank you thank you i hope thank you enjoy it thank all you right. thank you nushrat bye bye